1995, the World Bank asked me to go out and begin the documentation of the rehabilitation of the Lewis Plateau. And this is what we found. We found a fully degraded ecosystem. And it was, it was astonishing to me. I've been to many countries as a news cameraman, and I'd never seen a place that looked like this that had been caused just by human impact. So to realize that this is the birthplace of the largest ethnic group on the planet, but it was so fundamentally ruined, made a profound impression on me. And I began to wonder, what were these functionalities that had been existent in this place, but that had been lost? And how did this happen? And we found primarily five areas that had been disrupted. The biodiversity was lost. And then we found that the, the soil stability had been disrupted, that natural fertility had been reduced, greatly reduced, and that the natural infiltration and retention of rainfall had been disrupted. We also found that the carbon uptake had been greatly reduced, so carbon sequestration. And together with these biophysical impacts, we found that there was a cycle of poverty and ecologic destruction that meant that the actions of the people were causing the ecological damage. And so the more that they did, the worse the situation became. And this kind of spiraled generation after generation. And they, they had another cycle. They had the cycle of flooding followed by drought, followed by famine, which became known as China's sorrow. So by a 1,000 years ago, this place was already famous for its poverty. And it was kind of all the wealthy and powerful people moved away.